Hey everybody, this is Larry. Uh, this is day one of the May Lead Code Challenge. Uh, I suppose there'll be 31 days. Uh, hit the like button, hit the follow button. I'm going to uh, do a video every day. Uh, so follow along. Uh, let me know how you did, how you're doing. And we'll, we'll work for it together. Let's go. Uh, day one. Uh, let me find the link. <laughs> uh, first bad version. Okay. Our first bad version. Your product manager is currently leading a team to develop a new product. Uh, unfortunately, the latest version of your product fails a quality test. Uh, you, since each version is well based on the previous version, all the versions after bad versions are also bad. Suppose you have n versions 1 to n, and you want to find the, out the first bad version, which caused all the file ones to be bad. You're given an API bool is, uh, is bad version version, which will return whether the version is bad. Implement a function to find the first bad version. You should uh, minimize the number of API calls to the API. Uh, given n is equal to 5, and version is Four is the first bad version. Okay, I mean, uh, well, it's supposed to be eight, five on three, but uh, this is uh, anyway. So I, what I'm thinking right now is that well, the template's a little weird because it's like a Python two template, uh, kind of maybe. Because it it usually is something like this, uh, but I I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this is just taking up a little bit more space. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so this one, uh, it's a very clear binary search thing. Um, I, you should minimize the number of calls to API. But yeah, so what you notice is that uh, at a certain point, uh, so a certain, you know, it's always going to be returned false for it is a good version, and then eventually it's going to return false for, or sorry, a true for a bad version. There's some, uh, there's a little bit of, um, uh, uh, what you might call it? Uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, negation in the uh, English phrasing, so it, I have, it's a little confusing. But yeah, but the idea behind that is just uh, well, binary search. When you have something like this, uh, you could try. Well, let's try the middle, and if if that's false, that means you that means your answer is on the right side, uh, and if it's true, um, right, and then you keep on going, and if this is true, that means the answers to the left and so forth, and you keep going. Um, I think in general people like to do templates about this, um, but uh, but I'm gonna tr I always try to templates. I always get a little bit weird with off by ones and stuff like this. So I'm gonna try to uh, try to implement it from from logic and figure it out. And so feel free to walk through it with me and uh, and let's see if we can figure it out together. Uh, so okay, so let's just say head is equal to uh, yeah head. I, I call it head or tail, head and tail, uh, but yeah, uh, but definitely use your own uh, definition because uh, sometimes people use left and right, some people use you know various different things. Uh, and, and these conditions is very easy to get wrong, so we'll we'll um, we'll think about it as we do try it again. Uh, okay, so mid is equal to head plus tail over two. Um, if uh, what's the API is bad word, so we just call it is bad version. Uh, the mid. Uh, okay, so if so, let's look at. Oh, I deleted the little boolean thing. Uh, but yeah, just to you know, uh, check way uh, uh, dot fully. Uh, let's say we have this function. Uh, if this is true, what does it mean, right? If this is just a random thing is true, that means uh, the answer is between uh, between. Zero and uh, mid minus one. All right? Is it between? Well, is the f do we want the first version that is true or so that's something that we also want to double check. We want to find out the first bad one, which means the first true instance. So that means that um, we want the answer from zero to mid. So that means uh, tail should be tail should be equal to uh, to mid. And then else head is equal to so if this is false, oops, if this is false, that means that it's always going to be mid plus one, uh, because if it's false, then it mid will never be true. Uh, and I think the only thing here that I would think about is kind of uh, this rounding thing, uh, but because head is always going to be moved by one, uh, we round down on the mid is okay. That means we'll we'll uh, we'll check all the all the instances. Um, cool. And then now, uh, I think that's all that is. Uh, and then now, because 
uh, well, this is when this when this stops being true, it's when head is equal to tail. So that means we could return either one. Okay, let's try it out uh, real quick. Uh, okay, one code, I suppose. I don't know what what is supposed to show for. I mean, I guess that's true. I don't know how to like. Do they not? How is any debugging or something like that? What is n? Uh, so I, usually I look at the constraint uh, as part of uh, solving problems way early, uh, especially for competitive programming. But this one, as you look at it, uh, you know that's going to be binary search, and when you know that's binary search, it's going to be log n complexity. Uh, and when it's log n complexity, I don't really need to look at the constraints because it works for any big number anyway. So I'm going to try to um, do it for a billion and then just try some random number in between. Um, Okay, and then just maybe like the at at the borders, uh, the, is it zero based or one based? Um, one based. So actually, I don't know if I get the first one correct as a result. Uh, and also because I check from zero to n, I don't know necessarily. Uh, it could be maybe off by one stair, so that it's a good thing to check. Uh, the judging is a little slow right now, so let me take an opportunity to just play a little bit more. Uh, because uh, it's free to, I don't know if zero is a rounded number, but uh, huh, maybe it doesn't do the billion number, but that's a little odd. So let's take it out. I, that's just like a that may be a lead code thing versus like it should be fast enough, but I don't know why that there's a constraint like this. A uh, apparently n cannot be up to a billion, which uh, you know there's no way to know that. Uh, I'm just cranking in different random numbers at this point. Um, and just yeah, and just for sake, just see if zero is. It. I mean, I know that's not a valid input, but let's see what my thing would give because I don't think we would actually get there anyway. Um, and that's not a valid input because we always do head is equal to mid plus one, so head would never. I guess it could be zero, but then I, I think that's just not valid input, so ignore that. Just gonna try to one just in case. Uh, and this one is way. I mean. Especially since they give you the expected answer, it's very easy to test. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm kind of confident. Uh, so let's submit it. Ah, uh, yeah, so accept it. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this is um, this is a very straightforward problem. If you understand binary search, if you don't, I urge you to well learn binary search because it's going to come up a lot, both in uh, both in competitive programming and interviews. Um, what is there more to say? Uh, yeah, it means binary search uh, and as a result, the complexity of log n, where this is the n, uh, or linear and the number of bits, if you want to count that. Uh, but and the space is obviously just all of one. We really don't do any, like we have three variables or four variables or something like that. Maybe three even. So uh, so yeah. Uh, Over a very simple uh, day one, uh, but uh, mainly for me to be honest. Uh, and I don't know if we always at home will run into that as well. I get I. Um, I, I get a lot of off by one errors with binary search. So for me, any binary search practice is good practice for me because uh, there are a few variations of this that's a little tricky uh, for me. Uh, so definitely practice. Uh, and yeah, cool. Uh, so we kick off the beginning of May with no wrong <laughs> answers yet, knock on wood. So hope you did the same. And how did you do? Let me know how you did. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And we will see you tomorrow. And by we, I mean me.